morning. How are you? What makes a destination unique? When speaking about Madrid, this is something that always come up in the conversation. Do we really need an icon? Something remarkable linked to our destination. I'm sure it will help us to promote better Madrid. And of course, to sell more t-shirts, mugs, or souvenirs. But are we considering the best of Madrid? Do we know what are the most important things to promote Madrid or any destination? And attract new qualified visitors. Do we really know our destination? No, we don't. Let's turn around. Let's say, let's suppose that we have uh, a city icon. Hmm? Okay. Hey, we are London. We have the big band. Uh, cool. That's good. Okay, fine. What now? Well, Paris. Hey, we are Paris. We have the, the, the Eiffel Tower. Très bien. And so, oh, allez, allez. Oh, we have the Burj Khalifa. Hmm? The tallest building in the world. Great, amazing. Yala, yala. But what now? Can we see, can we really see what we have? That's the question. Are we able to see farther? Can we recognize an opportunity? The money heist. Do you know that is shot in Madrid? The, the most watched show, TV show in Netflix in the world. So what makes a destination unique? Do you have a luxury destination? What is luxury? It is something expensive. It is something very, very expensive. It is something unreachable. What's the price for that? Hmm? What would you pay for this? Macallan Fine and Rare, 1926, sold by $1.9 million. But what else? Are we promoting our destinations? How do we promote Madrid? Are we rational or are we emotional? Because luxury, as Chris told, told us yesterday, is a question of emotions, of connections, of feelings. In Madrid, we have so many treasures and therefore opportunities. Botin, the oldest restaurant in the world, 1725. And also David Muñoz, the best chef in the world. Hmm? So we can say uh, that we know a little bit about gastronomy, right? Royal Theater, the largest theater in the world, and the best opera theater in the world, here in Madrid. What about the Royal Palace, the Plaza Mayor, the Prado, paintings like Garnica or Velázquez. It's not about storytelling, it's about history telling. Hmm? Centuries of history and heritage. Leather workers, embroiderers, ceramicists, and luthiers are embedded to the culture of Madrid and Spain. Master artisans perpetuate traditions and ensure the future of craftsmanship in Spain. Do you have a luxury destination? What if we combine all these activities, all these actions to make unique experiences like this? The flamenco show in the Prado Museum. That's only in Madrid. Something that you can only do in Madrid. That's the goal. So when we start to rethink the strategy for Madrid, we make a new vision. This is 
our main goals that uh, are set in the strategic plan, reshaping the future implementation of a new strategic plan in public and private collaboration. That's the key. Driving the change. New models to attract, qualify, and high value tourism, uh, generating investment opportunities and enhancing Madrid in the key sectors. For what? To leave Madrid as a urban destination. That's what we want in the strategic plan. Positioning Madrid as a leading destination in sustainability, in visitor experience, and wealth generation. Uh, the action lines, uh, three main pillars in this case. We have the high-end tourism, world's leading urban destination to generate wealth throughout the value chain. That's the most important thing uh, that can impact in all the companies in Madrid. Uh, the long-haul markets, long-haul markets like Asia. We don't know Asia. We haven't been in Asia uh, in, in, in our previous strategy. Uh, Latin America. We are the main uh, airport no? connection from uh, Latin America. And of course, the Middle East. And connectivity. If we look at the map, Madrid has a, a, a gap regarding connectivity. We have a very good connections to America, to Latin America, to Europe. But what about, what about uh, Asia? What about China? Middle East, we have a gap, but we have to improve that. So we are um, in, in, in direct contact with the uh, central government to improve and to increase the connectivity with, uh, with Asia. And uh, how, we, how are we going to do this? First, public and private collaboration. You already made um, round tables with the sector. Uh, just to say, okay, we go in that direction, so we want to join, join us and to make this strategic plan all together. So that makes sense. You know? um, we made uh, a round table for Asia market, for luxury, for heritage, for uh, entertainment, and also for three different uh, new models like um, um, healthcare tourism, sports tourism, and educational tourism. Well, sectoral agreements, that's uh, the second part of the, of the strategy, digital transformation, that's uh, mandatory today. Training programs, that's the most important thing that we have. If we, in the strategy, we are going to new markets, we are going to new uh, customers, we have to tell the sector, we have to tell the industry in Madrid that we are going in that way. So. Uh, for us, it's a question of promise and delivery. If we promote Madrid, if we go into all that markets to say we have a unique destination, we have to deliver the best, and we have to work together with industry here in Madrid, with the local, to uh, improve and to give the best um, experience. Unique experiences, of course, that combination, uh, we have a roadmap to uh, not create, but inspire. Inspire new experiences to combine the gastronomy, the heritage, the culture, the, um, all the things that we have in Madrid, all the pillars of promotion that we have in Madrid to um, make these unique experiences. And sustainability. Sustainability, as we are going to see later, uh, we have a goal, we like and we want and we are going to be carbon neutral destination in Madrid. And of course, the visitors, the travelers, the most important things, uh, we want to make the best experience since they arrive at the airport. And we are in contact with the airport and also with the train stations, Renfe, uh, Atocha, just to enhance the experience and to tell the travelers, the visitors, that they are the most important for Madrid. Hmm. That's the main goals that we have set in the, um, in the strategic plan. Um, well, pandemic, we don't know how it's going to be in the following months or the following years. 
rather than this is something I think very reachable and, and this is also a challenge. Right? Uh, increase almost 40% of additional expenditure. This is something that is uh, very related to the high end tourism. The average length of stay, Madrid has only 2.17 nights of average length of stay. So this is ridiculous because Madrid worth more than a week, maybe, okay? And we are going to change how we promote Madrid as not as a capital of Spain, not as economic uh, city, but uh, for leisure. No? We have to attract leisure customers, leisure visitors that spend more than three, four, five days in Madrid. And as I already mentioned, the carbon neutral, we are working already with some companies that uh, can compensate, not only measure, but also compensate the uh, CO2 in Madrid with local initiatives, okay? But we cannot do this by our own. We need you. We need the industry, we need the companies in Madrid, we need all the sectors in Madrid, all the value chains to do this. And this is why we are here, to make this roadmap together. This is what we want to do, because we are sure that this, is, this will lead Madrid in the international market, and that position that we'll like you know, in the following years, but we need the industry. So I'm sure that all together we will achieve all these goals. And all of this, we have made uh, the campaign of, uh, the marketing campaign of Madrid uh, that are summarized in, in, in this video. I hope you like it. Do you know what makes a destination unique? The things you can only do there. Madrid is known for its vibrant streets, its light and culture. Here are 10 things you can only do in Madrid. Just 10? Yes, that's not enough. Not enough? Number one, the Prado, which some say is the best museum in the world. Sorry, it houses masterpieces by Velázquez, El Greco, Goya. If you want something more contemporary, you can head to Reina, Reina Sofia. Really? I'll add that to my list. Shh. I have two plans now. And three and four. Don't forget the temporary exhibition. Of course not. Or oh, the Tyson Museum. I had that one. Let's start over. What number were we on? Number seven, number seven. Thanks. Number eight could be the Plaza Mayor, the best spot in the city to take a selfie. This one's the best. If you say so. For this one. Also a good spot. No way. It's the Puerta de Alcalá. Uh -huh. Just look at it. I'm looking, I'm looking. What about this amazing backdrop? Sure, but first I wanted to talk about enjoying the culinary scene, like meeting up with friends for some tapas. <laughs> hey, that was my number five. Oh. Cocido, that was my number nine. Order this famous chickpea stew and you're practically a local. That's right. What pretty sweets. They could be jewels. And those diamonds could be sweets. But a child couldn't afford them. Ah, oh, it's a present for your mom. Excuse me, can I tell you something really amazing to do? Später. Is that a yes? Maybe not. Girls, seriously, I have a plan you can't refuse. Oh, you're off to a musical? But we are free tomorrow. See you tomorrow. You're going to love this. We've already been. Just spectacular. Write it down. Done. This is what I call a plan. My favorite place to see the sunset in Madrid. What about here? The Royal Palace. What a stunning sunset. I'm not surprised you like it. Or here? Those views are amazing. They're all perfect ways to bring our list to spectacular and just perfect. Where are you going? It doesn't end here. Wait! We've already done more than 10 things. Hello? Can you hear me? But you'd have to come for more than a week to fit so many things in. Uh, I still have some ideas. This is crazy. That's a good one. I think I'm a bit lost. What is it with everyone in the city? We're having fun. Yes, I got that. That's also a great idea. I told you it would be hard to name just 10 things. Yes, it's hard. I counted 36. Really? <laughs> we, got we got 43. 43. If life were a city, it would be Madrid. So thank you. We need you, remember.
hand by hand and very closely work together. Thank you.